Hi there. This is your lucky day. Everyone likes Coca-Cola and I'm going to tell you how to make sure you keep plenty in stock and make money doing it. At the same time, I'm going to tell you how to make your own antenna to watch PCS TV channel 11. In most cases, the antenna will also pick up KVZK and the music channel. I've told you before how to make antennas, but this is the latest version, Mark 7, which is lighter and less expensive than the older models, while working just as well. The first thing you have to do is invest in a 12-pack carton of Coca-Cola. I bought mine from Costuless for a little over $7. Next, go to the tool shop and buy a 10-foot length of half-inch PCV pipe three T-connectors for the half-inch pipe, and six rubber end caps. That will cost about $8. Your investment so far is about $15, and you have enough items to make three antennas, one for yourself and two to sell to your friends for $15 each. You only need one Coca-Cola can for each antenna, so you will have nine cans left. That means your own antenna is free and you make $15 on your first project, enough to pay for your second project. With your second project, you will bring in $45 when you sell all three antennas, giving you a profit of $37, after which you will still have six cans of Coke left for your third and fourth projects. Well, let's start off with the Coke can. How to make your own antenna for channel 11 using a Coca-Cola can. And here is the first best part. And that is when you have a can you have to make it empty. And the best way to empty it is to drink the contents. Mm. Well that was great. You may get thirsty working on the project, just drink another Coke. But don't throw the can away. You need it for the following projects. Now then, I'm going to tell you how to prepare the can for your antenna. And the first thing to do is to cut off the ends. And the easiest way is to cut the bottom end off first. So, using a sharp knife with the knife. Now it's probably a good idea to wear gloves when you're doing this, especially if you don't like the sight of blood, but it's probably a little easier to feel it if you don't wear gloves. Now how many people shake hands wearing gloves? Now then, We'll go all the way around, almost to the end. And we'll cut the last piece off with a pair of scissors. Here's the end. We just discard that, or maybe recycle it. But here's a can. Now what we want to do now is cut this can into a half inch strip as long as we can get it. So let's start there. Okay, let's start at the bottom here and cut and just regular household scissors cut this very easily. Even if your wife uses the scissors for sewing I don't think it'll blunt it to any appreciably degree. It's, the aluminum is very very soft and very thin and you want to cut this strip about half an inch wide. And you keep doing this until you get to the top of the can. Okay, that's good enough. Then you discard the top. Straighten out this strip of aluminum. Halve it. So you have two pieces of aluminum.
half an inch wide. Now you take each piece one at a time and you wrap it around a pencil. Now this pencil is a Coca-Cola pencil but you, any pencil will work. And then wrap the aluminum around the pencil into a spiral. And you have to do this with both pieces. And these are actually the elements for your antenna that we're making right now. These will conduct the radio waves into your feed cable. And they have to be the right length for channel 11. Now you'll find that a good channel 11 antenna will also pick up channel 5 because channel 5 is a much higher signal than channel 11. But uh, in order to get the best reception for channel 11, you want to make the antenna elements exactly the right length. Okay, here we have a spiral. And then we do exactly the same thing with the other strip of aluminum. This is RG59 cable, just a short length. Now you can have the whole cable and not have this connector. You'd have a longer cable to reach right from the antenna to your TV set. The advantage of this is it's easier to dis disconnect the antenna and just leave the feed cable where it is. But it, you can do it either way. You either have a long piece of cable going up to the antenna or just a short piece going up. So feed the center conductor to one side of the T and the shielding to the other side of the T through the bottom. There we go. That's one. And here's the shielding on the other side. Now the spiral element that we've made out of a Coke can feeds through one of the 13 and 3 quarter inch pipes. We feed it through until it comes out at one end. Then we make a little tab on the outside of the pipe. Need a tap and this is what makes the connection to the wire. See the little aluminum tab there? Okay, let's attach that to the center conductor on one side of the T. And it's better to have it towards the bottom of the T. and then push it home. Then we feed the other spiral element from the made out of the coat cam through until it pokes out the other side. Again, make a little tab and we squash the shielding against that tab. We're mid home. At the other end where the element is poking out, make a little tab and put on the end connector. And do the same with the other element. Now in order to connect a long piece of feed cable to this antenna, you'll need a barrel connector. Your main feed cable will go through this short piece of pipe, or this piece of pipe at the bottom. Connect 
to the other end of the barrel connector. Then ran the bottom of the T home. To attach the cable, you can use hose clamps around a pipe or just a little metal bracket with screws against a piece of wood and put it up as high as you can and have this facing channel 11 and Vitonia or this side, either side, as long as it's spread across. Congratulations! You have made your first Channel 11 antenna. Time to celebrate with another Coke. Mm. How to make your own antenna for Channel 11 using a Coca-Cola can. Take one Coca-Cola, open it and drink it. Mm. With a sharp knife and a pair of scissors, cut a half inch spiral from the top of the can to the bottom. Discard the top and the bottom of the can. You are left with a half inch ribbon of aluminum. Cut it in the middle to give you two half inch ribbons half the length. Wrap one of the aluminum ribbons around a pencil to give you a spiral. Do the same to the other ribbon. Cut two lengths of PVC pipe to be 13 and 3 quarter inches long and one piece about 8 inches long. Feed one spiral of the aluminum into each of the 13 and 3 quarter inch pipes. The Toolshop RG59 cable has connectors on both ends. Cut 6 inches off the cable with the connector. Cut the plastic covering from the outside of the RG59 antenna cable 2 inches from the end and take off the insulation from the center conductor half an inch beyond what is now the existing outer plastic cover. Wrap the cable shielding into a wire. Poke the bare cable through the vertical section of the T connector so that the center conductor goes to one side of the T and the shield goes to the other. Overlap a little tab of aluminum spiral over the outside of the 13 and 3 quarter inch pipe. Pull the center conductor of the feed cable to the bottom of the T connector and slide the aluminum tab on the 13 and 3 quarter inch pipe over the center conductor as you push the pipe into the T. Make a similar tab on the other 13 and 3 quarter inch pipe and squash the shielding against the tab as you insert the pipe into the T. Make small tabs at the other end of the 13 and 3 quarter inch pipes and close over them with the rubber end caps. Congratulations! You have made your first Channel 11 antenna. Time to celebrate with another Coke.